I don't need toxic people in my life. <laughs> you know, it's life's too short and there's so much more to explore. But he's definitely a liar. He's definitely a toxic person. And I would warn people of him. Whenever I read about the dynamic between co-actors on set and the grapevine of the supposed animosity or problems that existed on set, it makes me think about the nightmare it must have been in order to complete the shooting of the film. I remember seeing the disturbing documentary on the making of The Shining and just the inhumane nature with which Stanley Kubrick treated the lead actress Shelley Duvall almost as a means to channelize the same trauma in her performance. There are innumerable anecdotes about the various spats and disagreements that would arise on Francis Ford Coppola's sets, especially those of Apocalypse Now and Bram Stoker's Dracula. Nothing is more ludicrous than the anecdote where Ben Affleck and David Fincher fought with one another on the creative choice of Ben's character in Gone Girl wearing a rival team's baseball cap which presumably halted shooting for four days. Various personalities coming in conflict with one another is inevitable on film sets, as one is bound to disagree with one another on creative decisions. Through this video, I wanted to reference several actors who came in conflict with either actors or directors on Hindi film sets, in turn leading to several complications in completing the film. So here is Trident Refuse Productions with 10 Indian celebrities who openly hated working with actors. Sanjay Leela Bansali Many people consider Sanjay Leela Bansali's best work to be his debut film Khamoshi, for it is a screenplay that never gets distracting with the opulence that Bansali films were synonymous with years later. A heartfelt tale about interpersonal relationships that often goes unnoticed. Bansali, however, did not have a cordial time on set shooting with Nana Patikar, reflecting on the experience stating that he doesn't really have fond memories of the same. I did not enjoy the experience of uh, working with Nana Patikar, mm. to be very obvious. To, to, to say it, it was a it was a film that put that the whole process of acting with a person I, I didn't enjoy the film when I hear Dimple Kapadia during the promotions of her movie Tum Milo to Sahi also describing Nana Patikar as a co-actor I often wonder about the known personality making me hope and wish I could just be a fly in the wall on a film set to see what he is exactly like when the cameras are not rolling. I think he's obnoxious. In a good way? Uh, yeah, but, uh, mm, uh, when I see talent like this, now to saw Khon Maaf hai. Sharmila Tagore one of the most popular pairs during the early 70s when Rajesh Khanna had experienced superstardom was when he shared screen space with Sharmila Tagore. This was a pair that audiences looked forward to seeing on the big screen, with movies like Avishkar, Amar Prem, Aradhana, Daag and several others, one equated the pair to be synonymous with box office success as well. But as the years passed by, one wondered why Sharmila Tagore stopped featuring in roles opposite Rajesh Khanna. In the foreword for The Dark Star, The Loneliness of Being Rajesh Khanna, Tagore wrote, I went to the studios at 8am and wanted to be back with my family by 8pm. But this was impossible since Kaka never arrived before 12 for a 9am shift and we could never finish on time. She further wrote, Probably even Kaka felt it was not such a good idea to have so many films with one actress. One runs the risk of becoming stale. Whatever it was, we found ourselves working together in less and less films, and I must confess, it was a huge relief. Bipasha Basu The dynamic and atmosphere on the sets of Ajnabi really caused quite the stir in the early 2000s, as rumours were through the roof of the animosity and tension between Kareena Kapoor and Bipasha Basu. In a very candid interview from the first season of Coffee with Karan, Bipasha Basu clearly described what she observed regarding Kareena Kapoor's behaviour towards her on set. It was only the second schedule that I realised that um, she does not like me. She stopped talking to me. So I... It doesn't make my life difficult, you know, because yeah. if I know that somebody's very clean with their thoughts that, you know, that I don't like you and I'm not going to talk to you, it's actually better for me yeah. because I hate hypocrites. I'd rather, you know, have a person who's very straight in front of me saying, listen, something's not gelling with us. We'll not talk. 
to complete a film when there is a clear understanding of your co-actor hating your guts is professionalism at its peak honestly i wonder how one worked through such differences and how a director or producer managed such tempers and egos during the entire making of the film amir khan A cult film today but a box office disaster of the 90s was Andaaz Apna Apna a film that had its fair share of problems on set as the co-actor Salman Khan and Aamir Khan did not have the best working relationship as Aamir presumably would be on time and prepared with his lines whereas Salman Khan would arrive on set late and not remember his lines when Aamir was asked about his working relationship with Salman on the project he said if you are asking me about my memory of working with Salman it was very bad he used to come I'm late and would never remember his dialogues after the film i was like i can never work with him again this is something that the two actors can reflect and joke about today but it's quite shocking that the experience was so bad for amir to conclude that he would never work with salman again most a professional actor ever amir khan 7 o'clock means 7 o'clock ready with makeup and me i uh, 132 per aaram se coffee shoppy pk fir then i come and i start talking about my work which is not good i am not proud of it krish the most contentious turn of events in recent times regarding a hindi film set has to be on what transpired during the making of mani karnika a telugu director krish roped in to direct production and kangana especially not being satisfied with the final cut of the film the director being chucked out of the project sonu sood opting out of the role he was originally portraying kangana taking the reins of directing the film and till today there being huge contention on whose vision we finally saw on the big screen uh, june mein she praised everything yeah. and uh, uh, and once the just before the entire film and when she wants to take a credit no jo aapne kiya wo acha nahi hai me uh, i i made it better which is she she made it i i can say no she reduced the value of the film whenever krish is asked about his experience working on the film you can still see the heartbreak and pain he underwent being stripped away from what was essentially his baby Shahid Kapoor A guilty pleasure of mine from the mid 2000s is the Shahid Kapoor Kareena Kapoor and Fardeen Khan star of Fida a movie that I still revisit less for the plot and more for the music The rumor mills during the shooting of this film would make you believe that the actors especially the two male stars barely got along with one another Fardeen while in a print interview had stated that Shahid has an attitude problem and that Fida in general was a sticky subject Shahid clarified on the first season of Coffee with Karan that he did not feel there was any animosity in the dynamic whatever it was uh, it was uh, from his side right. i have no issues with him okay. uh, so you feel there was something from his side i'm sure there was he's spoken about it in quite a few All places right. so okay. i'm sure there was something and uh, as far as i'm concerned i had no issues working with him it was a professional relationship i went on my sets i did my job i came back home i went to sleep went on my sets again the next day if he felt uh, that that i was rude to him uh, then i really don't know where that where that came from Do you also notice that all of these candid confessions all arise from the first season of the talk show or oh, the days when celebrities could be brutally honest Radhika Apte Radhika Apte has featured in four Telugu films the franchise of Rakt Charitra and two films opposite Balaya We have spoken about Radhika's experience working in the Telugu film industry not being so pleasant and while this is exclusive to her personal experience and not entirely reflective of an industry it was shocking to listen to when Radhika spoke about an actor who holds great power in the Telugu film industry and her experience of being tickled by the man while having no personal rapport or connection with him prior to the said horrifying event I don't even know him I start tickling my feet What what I, yeah <laughs> and he was a big actor and I was told that he is powerful but the natural that the who I am I got up and I snapped at him I just said looked at him I said don't ever ever do that to me and I was so angry and I said ever ever like I feel like I'm ever and he looked at me and I said He he, he oh, wow. didn't expect that but he never touched me after that These are horrid experiences that can really burn professional bridges for actors Mahesh Bhatt Quite the shocking revelation for me was that Mahesh Bhatt and Aamir Khan had a strenuous working relationship having worked in Gulam and the notion of Aamir Khan wanting every department to be perfect in his films presumably over exceeding his portfolio by butting into parameters that should not concern him this trait particularly perturbed producer Mahesh Bhatt wo itna pleasant experience nahi tha hamare liye kyunki main jaise maine kaha ki jab 
आदमी अपनी महानता से बहुत अपनी ग्रेटनेस का बोझ उठाता है तो वो बोझ वो नहीं उठाता बाकी उठाते हैं लोग आई वंडर हाउ द मेकर्स माइट नॉट रियलाइज आमिर अटेंशन टू डिटेल प्रोबेबली बेनिफिटेड दर प्रोजेक्ट वर्स इज कॉजिंग दैम टू फेल रणबीर कपूर If you asked anyone personally of what is certain about collaborations never happening one would say that Ranbir and Sanjay Leela Bansali are two worlds that would never collide again this is because while Ranbir considers Sanjay Leela Bansali to be his mentor he also references the grilling working conditions he experienced with him I I come from a sheltered background I've never been like abused or shouted at hmm. and yep, he was abusing me he was hitting me he was like making me clean the floors and hmm. uh, so I think that experience really uh, grounded me While this relationship presumably has been mended as Ranbir is starring in Bansali's upcoming project Love and War, it was quite shocking to hear when Ranbir described some of the experiences he had while working as an actor on his set. The curious case of Padmavat. Speaking about the sets of Sanjay Leela Bansali, no one will ever know what exactly transpired among the cast of this film. How Shahid Kapoor felt shortchanged by the dynamic, a working relationship that was already set with Bansali having worked with Ranbir and Deepika on two films previously. But of the innumerable interviews you see of Shahid whenever he does reflect on Padmavat, there is always a void within him, either on what transpired during the making of the film or what was essentially his screen time on the final edit. I'm sure everybody he felt a bit threatened by each other at some level uh, it's natural i wouldn't say that it was a smooth ride and you know we were all throwing love at each other um but looking back like i feel it's it's an amazing film in my filmography and i feel like it's great that i did it and yeah it's all good irrespective what's crystal clear is that everything was definitely not hunky dory on the sets of padmavat and that was a video guys write down in the comments below whether you have some video ideas for our channel Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram the handles right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching